Hi there guys and girls, and welcome to my next YouTube video, which is a review of Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 on Sega Saturn. Now, I know a lot of people have asked for this for a long time, and uh, it's something that, you know, I was always like, yeah, I'll get to it, I'll get to it, but you know. Um, one of the things that uh, kind of hindered that was, I did MK2 on Saturn because a lot of people were asking for it, but when I did that, I didn't have an AV cable for it. And I had to film the screen, and I'm not a fan of doing that. I like to kind of try and do the video semi-professional these days. You know, I know that's how I got started on YouTube. But um, a few months ago, before I um, finished up with my job, um, there was a retro game store across the road near where I worked. And they were closing down not long before I finished my job. And they had satin AV cable. As you can see, I got it half price, $7.50. So I grabbed that quick sticks. Um, you know, because I knew I'd probably be doing this ultimate review soon since I grabbed that. So, uh, yeah. Uh, the other thing is, if I sound a bit funny, I'm a bit, uh, got a bit of a nasally thing going on at the moment. So, haven't been feeling the best um, the last few days. So, there's that too. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. So Ultimate MK3 on Saturn, I, I remember, uh, I'll show you guys the color. Boom. Uh, I have a few of these, actually. Um, for those of you who didn't watch my, you know, personal collection video, I have three copies of this because this one had a, um, oops, this one had a rip here. See? I think this is the first one I got. So then I wanted to get one that was better. So I got that one. And then at the same time I got the other one, I got a factory seal one really cheap, which I've never opened, so... Um, yeah, <laughs> that's how that happened. Oh, that's interesting. Noob versus Smirk. I remember that. There's, arcade used to do that, actually. Yeah, every so often. Yeah, so Saturn has to load. Um, that's with everything. I will say this. Um, I was having some trouble with my Saturn before. It wasn't reading discs. So I'm hoping it gets through this review, no problem. Um, I took it out. I, I replaced the CMOS battery or the system battery in it. Um... And it seems okay now, so I don't know. I think the Saturn might be on its last leg, so let's get this review done before something stops working, shall we? <laughs> now, uh, I did do a, a play of this uh, earlier, and if you just start the game, you won't have Melina, Ermac, or Classic Sub Zero unlocked. You have to put in codes for them. Um, you get something like eight credits for the game. You know, and that's all you get. Well, what you want to do is, uh, I got a code. We're going to use the code because I want to unlock those three characters. So, uh, with these buttons, and for those of you who don't know, Saturn's got A, B, C, X, Y, Z, and then you got L and R. What you want to do is you want to type Crazy Cyrax anywhere in this demo. So, there we go. It's have to do it a bit faster. Yeah. And I, I think I stuffed it up the first time around. So you do that, you hear the laugh, then you push up. You get the question mark. Ah. Oh, excuse me. Alright. So we're finally going into the game. <laughs> Having a few headaches today. I fear my Saturn's on the way out, so hopefully we get through a a full game without any problems. <sighs> I'll go reptile. Why not? Use one of the ultimate characters. Choose your destiny. I'll go novice. Excellent. Now loading. Yes. Fight.
<laughs> oh, come on. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> I think the eating animation is actually quicker than the arcade. It's like <laughs> Fatality. Fatality. So, so far we have a pretty close to the arcade version of Ultimate MK3. I remember when I saw this in the game stores, I thought, shit, that looks pretty close to Arcade Perfect, apart from the loading, you know? Um, I couldn't hear it at the time. I could see it in a game store. I didn't have a sad, and I could see it on a screen. I remember thinking, shit, that looks really close to the arcade. Um, the other thing is the character's a bit smaller. That's the first noticeable difference and the loading. Fight. Come <laughs> 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 I love that extended fatality time. You do as I say, bitch. Four foot down up high kick. I was doing up up four down high kick. Four foot down up. Try next one. My finger was that was weird. My finger was doing something totally different than what I was thinking. I was thinking four foot down up high kick, but I was actually doing up up four down high kick. I haven't done that one for a while. Yes. They have this thing where they get up really fast on the satin version, so you run into a combo and suddenly they're like they're comboing you before they even should be able to. Like you shouldn't be able to react that quick. So <sighs> Can't believe I lost. Oh, well, I'll swap to Sindel. Shit will get real now. That's the other thing about this version too, is every time I seem to lose fatality. on it, they always fatality you. Which I don't like. I hate it when Mortal Kombat games do that. They're like, oh, we gotta show off the fatalities. No, 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 you don't have to show off the fatalities. Fatalities shouldn't be shown off because you wear them down. You know, I remember when I, when I first saw Mortal Kombat 1, we didn't know the fatalities and we we watched the game in the arcade and, we, and you'd play and lose and you're like, oh, they gonna is the computer going to kill you? Is the computer going to kill you? And they wouldn't do it, you know? And that would be a thing, you know? And then there'd be times where they would do it and you go, oh, they did it. Well, I haven't seen that one before. I haven't seen Raiden blow my head off with lightning, you know? So... When they constantly just show it off, they just wear it down. It's just expected now. It's like, oh. It's like if I play Mortal Kombat Deception and, I, and I'm fighting Sindel on the courtyard stage and I beat her, she will always hurry Kiri. 
Always. Nightwolf will Harry Carey every time on the portal stage. Every time. And that gets boring. You know, just seeing it over and over again. She'll be a rare thing. It shouldn't happen all the time. Oh, you bitch, come here. No one fucks with me when I'm Sinville. No one. No one. She's my baby. She's awesome. Yeah. Take that. Bitch. Ha uh ha. -huh. She lost her skin. Fatality. Fatality. Just think about it. And then fatality. Now loading. Fight. Oh no, it's gay, bitch. Well done. <laughs> oh my god, I kicked her ass. That should be. No combos for you, bitch. Nope, 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 nope. Not when I'm Sindel. Fight. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I've got the run and block button the backwards and it's fucking with me. Like I've got the long fatality time on. <laughs> I need fatality. I'm like, it's run and block run block. Why isn't it working? And I was doing block block run block run. You know, I was doing it back. Cause it puts the run in the bottom. Like it's like Street Fighter, you know, the way it's got the three, the three and the three. It puts the run in the bottom, which makes sense. Cause if the, it was like an arcade, it'd be over here, but when I have it like three and three, I always have the run above in the middle and the block in the the bottom three because when I played Mortal Kombat one, I'm well, no, not just one, 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 one. I don't know. I just always assume that the bottom of the three is block, and having that as run is like really seriously messing with me. <laughs> I suppose I could use the triggers, but I'm not used to using triggers on a Saturn. Let's see what they do. Fight. Sock about. Try and check what my triggers do, you bastard. Yeah, they do run and block them. Sindel. Sindel wins. out of the sky. I made him run his run bar out. Oh, what? Is it? You can't do anything now. I can do whatever I want. I'm a witch. I'm a witch. I'm a witch. I love flying. Flying is awesome. 
Alright, you think he's had enough? Maybe I'll just float around here for a while. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. She's getting real now. Endurance round. Yeah. Again, they got some of the music wrong uh, in this version, which is annoying. I hate when they do that. So I can't hear the fucking music right. Oh, they don't give a shit. Prepare for your next fighter. Okay. Bring it. It's Gertrude's brother. Ironage. Man, when I'm Sindel, watch out. Watch out! She's got the best... The best set of moves. You can pretty much stop any sort of attack with Sindel. <laughs> that air fireball really, um... Is really powerful. You can really fuck with him with that. See what I mean? <laughs> Oh, bastard. Oh, what? <laughs> As if. A dirty pool, old man. Coming for ya. <laughs> See? I wasn't taking any shit from him. No way. <laughs> so, when I played my game earlier, I know what's coming. And there's something funny with Motaro. He doesn't play like the arcade, he plays strange, and I couldn't beat him. And I'm expecting the same bullshit here. And you guys are going to see what I mean. He teleports, he moves around real quick. Um, He's, I don't know, he's kind of glitchy. He tries to grab you sometimes and doesn't grab you. And it, I don't know, it, it's a, like an advantage, but like it throws me off. And like, I don't know, it just moves around and just constantly attacks you. And I couldn't get past him, no joke. And that's, that's something weird about the Saturn version. Oh, I keep getting, I'm worried that the, I know the Saturn has got some issue. And I'm just hoping he can get through this review. <laughs> you know, because the fight. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got a lot. So I mean that 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 is not in the arcade. He teleports, but he doesn't go bang, bang every time he teleports, like instantly. Fight. You can't get out of it. Shit, I wouldn't even do that. There's that glitch I was talking about. He tries to grab you. And this is Shit. 
That's the first time I've ever run around against him. I shit you not. Because I was playing earlier, I couldn't even get one round. So, maybe if we're lucky, we can get through him. Fight. For lucky. <laughs> See what I mean? That fucking grab, you should be able to do it. He's in cooldowns. Like, even the arcade doesn't fucking do that. I know, like, I've played so much Ultimate MK3 on arcade. I've probably played that more than any of my other arcade games because when I bought the cabinet, it came with Ultimate. And I know Botaro, and he can't do that. After a combo, he just sort of stopped for a while. He's, like, in a cooldown period. In this, he just like, grabs you straight away. You... It's unfair because... When you do a combo against Motaro, you don't push him back. He only goes back a little bit. He doesn't go flying back. So for him to have, to have an instant retaliation grab sort of thing is bullshit. Sindel. I'll go Sindel again because last time I even tried with Cabal, I couldn't, couldn't get anywhere near. I didn't even get around, so. I have free play on this time though. That time I didn't have free play on, so I was just, we just went to game over, so. I used up my eight credits on Motaro. Come on, baby. Don't fail me, Saturn. Come on, baby. Stay with me. You can do it. Get through this review, baby. Come on. Fight. Fuck off. That's bullshit. That instant punch. Now, boom! It is not in the arcade. Like, he has the move, but he doesn't do it straight after stopping it. He hardly ever does it. He might do it like once or twice, but this time he does it instantly every time. He's glitchy, hasn't he? Hell? Oh, got him. One more round. Come on, baby. Come on, you can do this, you know. Come on, baby. Fight. I will say this, Motaro does have a weakness for fireballs that you hit him in the head with. His chest will reflect fireballs, but anything that hits him in the head, like an air fireball from Sindel, won't. So I'm going to give that a shot. I'm going to see if I can exploit, possibly spam him with air fireballs to get past him because there's something fucking weird. I don't like the way he plays on the, on the Saturn version. It's bullshit. Come on, baby. Come on. Fight. <laughs> Trying to do the fucking flight, <laughs> Maybe you can't do it on Oh, you can't do it. But you can have a fire fire on You can. You just gotta jump, right? Working a little bit. Might be able to combine them, do some combos and air fireballs.
we got it. One more, one more. Come on, baby. You can do this. Fight. <laughs> Bit of luck got through there. Sindel baby, she's the best. She's the best. My favourite standard MK3 character. Always. Oh yeah. We can take down Khan. I'm sure of it. Although I haven't fought him on the Saturn version. Maybe he's gonna do some fucking weird thing that's gonna throw me off. We'll see. I'm sure it won't though. He's just already overpowered. Uppercuts. Uppercuts are the uh, secret to him. Good for good, the good thing about Sindel is she's got the high punch, high punch down, high punch. It's the easiest uppercut combo. You see, you can do the uppercut combo on Or you can get straight uppercuts. Like that. Easy. I'm not even afraid when I'm fighting Shao Kahn with Sindel. Because her combos are so... She's so great. She's so fast. She's got good moves. No fear. No fear. Was that Kahn? She's the wife, mate. The wife's the worst one. Oh my god, he got me. Yeah, I am trying to win. The wife is always right. You're going down, Shao Kahn. The woman is always correct. Coming in domestic. Boom, 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 boom. That's it. Oh, we get the arcade style ending. Building actually kind of explodes. Cool. <laughs> Shao Kahn is no more. You are the ultimate MK3 champion. I know I am. <laughs> oh, we can pick treasures. I can only go that far. We'll just pick the ending. Tournament outcome. Sindel. Oh, it's the lazy text scrolling. They adapted that from the arcade. <laughs> so that's it. That's Ultimate MK3 on Saturn. Now we'll sit back and watch the credits. Oh, I was able, I'm glad I was able to get through that and show you guys. Because I know a lot of you have waited for this review for a while. Uh, just because I did Ultimate doesn't mean I'm doing Trilogy next. Now there's a reason for that. A, I don't have Trilogy. B, Trilogy is expensive. It's hard to get. It's, it's kind of rare on, on Saturn. Uh, See, Trilogy didn't come out in Australia, or, or I don't think any PAL territories, so I have to get an American one. D, if I get an American one, I need to get a cartridge for the Sega Saturn that goes in the back that will allow me to play the import one. So it's not as easy as people think to just get Trilogy and, and do a review of it, you know, so. Um, and now my Saturn seems to be on its last fucking legs. You know, but I probably will still get that adapter anyway, I'll need it one day. I do want to do Trilogy, but it's all just a matter of getting the right stuff to do it, so... Yeah. Okay. There's only three Mortal Kombat games that's had an MK2, Ultimate MK3, and Trilogy. Trilogy is pretty much the same as Ultimate MK3, really. There's not much of a difference. There's more characters, you know. Um, yeah, so... Not the biggest fan of Trilogy, either. I'm more of a fan of Ultimate, you know, because that was an arcade. Trilogy had a lot of things, though. So. Kind of buggy in it. <laughs> it's good to be able to hear the music. It was good idea. It's good idea using that first. Why did I do this earlier? All those other games I was playing here going, I don't have sound. I could have just been listening to that front. <laughs> Any one has the game. 
Sal Benita. I met Sal Benita, but I don't have a photo with Sal actually, because um, I was in the Midway area in 2006, and he came through and I went, oh, Sal Benita. He went, yeah, hey man, how's it going? He shook my hand, and he went, oh, I've got to go somewhere. Um, I might be back later, and he walked off, and I never saw him again. <laughs> Before I even said, can I get a photo? <laughs> so I didn't get a photo with Sal Benita. But it was cool meeting Nightwolf. <laughs> For me, Sal Devine is Nightwolf. Even though he was, you know, he was Cyrax and that. I see him as Nightwolf. And Beefcake Boy. <laughs> For those of you wondering what the fuck Beefcake Boy is, it's uh, another Midway game, Cruising USA. Um, when you get to the finish line, there's all these people like, going, yeah, yeah. There's a guy there with, like, his shirt off. And, um,. He's Beefcake Boy. That's Sal Devita. <laughs> He's in the credits. <laughs> Playing in the Shao Kahn. I'm curious to see the rest of the credits. So this is a pretty good. This is a pretty good conversion. The graphics are pretty spot on. The, the sound's pretty much perfect. There's a few little things, a few tunes that are wrong and stuff, but you know, no big deal. I did pretty much a perfect version. Oh come on! You didn't even put a like a gradient fade out on the on the. the come on, that's lazy, guys. Those satin people are lazy, man. I didn't put a gradient fade out on their graphic, so it just cuts out. I could add it go to black. Nice. Jeez, I gotta tell them all this stuff. No, the 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 names are different on the gravestones. They're May and Schwartz. I guess there must be some sort of satin thing. We didn't play enough to see the old levels. Um, I assume they're in there, but um, I don't have a second controller, so I can't even run through or do combat codes or anything, so. Um, it's kind of what I'm on. I assume they're in there, though. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my review of Ultimate MP3 on Saturn. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another YouTube video. Peace.